On today's video, we're going to show you how to replace a pop-top actuator on a zone valve. So, right back in behind this plate here is our actuator. We're going to go ahead and get into that. Take a look inside. Okay. All right, let's take a look inside here. Here's our actuator there. I think that's our problem. We're going to go ahead and change it out. Let's go ahead and do that. This room is not cooling. The lowest we can get it is to 75, so I think our problem is right here. Nice. Way to, is take one thumb, put it on your black, which is at the bottom. You screw this over to that end. And twist and pull. So here it is right here, that's our valve there, and our actuator, here's the old one here, all of this is two wires. The two wires are not polarity sensitive, so it doesn't not matter which wire goes on which side. Let's go ahead, install it. You see how that is slotted that way? Make sure the bottom of the actuator, right here, same slot. Let's go ahead and install it. Just like that. See how you hear that click? That's it. Mm -hmm. No power. So let's go ahead and wire it. Two wires. Okay, we turn our valves back on. Hit the switch. Let's go ahead and set this to 62. Check our display, it's at 62. The temperature in the room right now is 76. Let's see what kind of air we got in here. Check our temperature here. 65. Starting to go down. We're at 65. Let's go ahead and seal it back up. And we'll turn the thermostat to 62. And we'll come back in a couple hours and we'll check our temperature. Sixty-two. It's sixty-four in the room. There it is. There. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and like. 